Good morning, everyone. It's great to be back at I.O. We are coming to you live from our campus here in Mountain View. So let's start by taking a look at our new UI for Android. We've overhauled everything from the lock screen to system settings, revamping the way we use color, shapes, light, and motion, inspired by Material U. Let me show you what we've done with color. We've got something new planned for Google Pixel using what we call color extraction. Think of it as one part art and one part science. Watch what happens when the wallpaper changes. Like if I use this picture of my kids actually getting along for once. I set it as my background and voila! The system creates a custom palette based on the colors in my photo. The result is a one of a kind design just for you. And you'll see it first on Google Pixel in the fall. But this new UI is more than a visual redesign. Many interactions have been simplified and system spaces purposefully reimagined. Starting from the lock screen, the design is more playful with dynamic lighting. Pick up your phone and it lights up from the bottom of your screen. Press the power button to wake up the phone instead and the light ripples out from your touch. Even the clock is in tune with you. When you don't have any notifications, it appears larger on the lock screen so you know you're all caught up. The notification shade is more intuitive with a crisp at a glance view of your app notifications, whatever you're currently listening to or watching, and quick settings that give you control over the OS with just a swipe and a tap. The quick setting space doesn't just look and feel different. It's been redesigned to include Google Pay and home controls while still allowing for customization so you can have everything you need right at your fingertips. Let's start by looking at how your phone works with your Chromebook. With a single tap, you can unlock and sign into your Chromebook when your phone is nearby. Incoming chat notifications from apps on your phone are right there in Chrome OS. And soon, if you want to share a picture, one click and you can access your phone's most recent photos. As another simple example, let's talk about your TV's remote. If your home is like mine, the remote is missing like 50% of the time. To keep movie night on track, we're building TV remote features directly into your phone. You can use voice search or even type with your phone's keyboard. It's effortless. Today, I'm excited to tell you about the biggest update to Wear OS ever. Samsung and Google have a long history of collaborating. From the early days of Android, whenever we've tackled problems together, the ecosystem has grown for everyone. And now we're combining the best of our two operating systems, Wear OS and Tizen, into a unified platform focused on faster performance, longer battery life, and a thriving developer community. Working together, we've made apps start up to 30% faster, and animations and transitions are super smooth. We're also addressing what consumers always want from a wearable, longer battery life. By taking advantage of smaller, lower power cores, we can do things like run the heart rate sensor continuously, letting you better track your activity during the day and your sleep overnight, while giving you plenty of battery to spare for the next day. This combined platform isn't just for Google and Samsung. It will continue to be available for all device makers, which means developers can build apps with a single set of APIs and reach millions of consumers all over the world through the Google Play Store. Over the last seven years, we've learned a lot about what people love most about their smartwatch, and we've built a whole new experience with your preferences in mind. First, our new navigation system makes it faster than ever to get things done on your watch. No matter what you're doing, you can access shortcuts to important functions like instantly switching to another app. Let's say I'm running with Strava and I'm about to hit that long, grueling hill. I just double press to switch to my last app, Spotify, put on my most motivating song, and then switch right back without missing a beat. It's such a simple thing for a more helpful and fluid experience. People have also told us they love getting glanceable pieces of helpful information just to swipe away from their watch face. So we're expanding our collection of tiles. Thanks to the new Tiles API, any developer can create one, 
giving people many more ways to customize their home screen carousel. Now I can go from checking my next meeting to the weather forecast to this new tile from Calm, which helps me relax before a stressful event like presenting at Google I.O. <laughs> We've also been hard at work revamping the wearables app experience with a material design update and expanded capabilities, starting with your favorite ones from Google. This includes things like getting turn-by-turn -turn navigation in Google Maps when you leave your phone behind, being able to use Google Pay in 37 countries and more than 200 public transit systems around the world, or downloading music from a catalog of more than 70 million songs for offline listening in the YouTube Music app, even without your phone nearby. We call it Project Starline. First using high resolution cameras and custom built depth sensors, we capture your shape and appearance from multiple perspectives, and then fuse them together to create an extremely detailed, real-time 3D model. The resulting data is huge, many gigabits per second. To send this 3D imagery over existing networks, we developed novel compression and streaming algorithms that reduce the data by a factor of more than 100. And we have developed a breakthrough light field display that shows you the realistic representation of someone sitting right in front of you in three dimensions. As you move your head and body, our system adjusts the images to match your perspective. You can talk naturally, gesture, and make eye contact. It's as close as we can get to the feeling of sitting across from someone. As sophisticated as the technology is, it vanishes. So you can focus on what's most important. With Project Starline, we've brought together a set of advanced technologies with the goal of creating the best communications experience possible. Soon, we're launching a new way to look back that we're calling Little Patterns. Little patterns show the magic in everyday moments by identifying not so obvious moments and resurfacing them to you. I'll show you how this works. This feature uses machine learning to translate photos into a series of numbers and then compares how visually or conceptually similar these images are. When we find a set of three or more photos with similarities such as shape or color, we'll surface them as a pattern. When we started testing little patterns, we saw some great stories come to life like how one of our engineers traveled the world with their favorite orange backpack, or how our product manager, Christy, had a habit of capturing objects of similar shape and color. Or for me, I received a pattern of my family hanging out on the couch over the years. Cinematic moments will take these near duplicate images and use neural networks to synthesize the movement between image A and image B. We interpolate the photos and fill in the gaps by creating new frames. The end result is a vivid, moving picture. And the cool thing about this effect is it can work on any pair of images, whether they were captured on Android, iOS, or scanned from a photo album. Creating this effect from scratch would take professional animators hours. But by applying machine learning, we can automatically bring this experience right to your gallery. And we know that looking back is never a one-size-fits-all solution. It's more meaningful when you can look back on content that's personalized to you. So later this year, you'll see new types of memories that are relevant to the moments you celebrate, whether that's Diwali, Lunar New Year, or something else. For me, my family celebrates Hanukkah, so I can look back on a collection of Hanukkah moments right in my photo grid. We've heard from many of you that you'd like to have more granular information about your surrounding. That's why we're bringing you the most detailed street maps we've ever made. Take this image of Columbus Circle, one of the most complicated intersections in Manhattan. You can now see where the sidewalks, the crosswalks, the pedestrian islands are. Something that might be incredibly helpful if you're taking young children out on a walk or absolutely essential if you're using a wheelchair. Thanks to our application of advanced AI technology on robust street view and aerial imagery, we're on track to launch detailed street maps in 50 new cities by the end of the year. And as you're planning your day, people have found it really useful, especially during this pandemic, 
to see how busy a place is before heading out. Now we're expanding this capability from specific places, like restaurants and shops, to neighborhoods with a feature called area busyness. Say you're in Rome and want to head over to the Spanish Steps and its nearby shops. With area busyness, you'll be able to understand at a glance if it's the right time for you to go, based on how busy that part of the city is in real time.